Welcome back YouTubers to my channel of SB Answers All. At this moment of time I have been contemplating about this topic that I'm hoping to address to you all that has been playing on my mind based on judgement. This topic however pretty much may touch some of you which I hope to you know give you a little lifting. Not as I said I'm here to encourage and build you guys up so here goes. There are many times however that there will be people who have been backstabbed, lied to, lied at, pretty much basically uh, judged, criticised the works. Yet we need to discern and open our spiritual eyes however to see who our and what are real to us and around us. The people I'm talking about is the ones who think they know us to a T. Yet they don't know us, however, because obviously in our circle, I've noticed, or in my circle precisely, that many people come into my circle and then just expect to know me with a no, no. Everyone changes, however, you know, day by day or year by year, you know, changes in their growth and their mental state versus their spiritual state and the works. <coughs> These people, however, are the ones that comes into our lives to kill, steal, and rob us of our joy, however, if we had any, however, or the peace and happiness. They are the people who are, I will call outsiders <coughs> in our circle, that tends to pretend to be our friends, yet they end up going behind our backs, however, and backstab and lie to us about anything and everything, just to try and win our honesty, integrity, loyalty, and faithfulness, and trust. They're the people that are so jealous and insecure, however, of themselves, so they end up trying to put them on us, of all these jealousy, jealousness, and insecurities around us, just to make us feel small and belittle us, no matter how we go about our lives. They're the type of people Oh, I've said that already, aren't they? No, they're the type of people that are jealous of you and that they'll do anything in their own power to bring us down or even drag us down and out. I'm talking about the type of people who they understand, but in reality they do misunderstand or misread us, as I said before so many times about misunderstandings and misreadings in my last video. These are the type of people who are actually is impatient about our, pa our past yet they're quick to give you the opinions in the present or even in the, about our past that we lived in. We don't have to by choice listen to what they have to say about us however. Just change how we would listen to or react to what they say or do towards us as we know that these ones hates us if we did the opposite effect on them. Which is true in a matter of speaking because I've learnt that day by day that Every time we try to do the opposite effect to what they're doing, you know, bringing out the negativity, pretty much they get a bit frustrated. I've noticed this in one of my circles at the moment that, you know, there are people around me that are trying to drag me down and, you know, I do the opposite effect, trying to smile and, you know, love them anyway and just hopefully go my merry way. I can't always be angry and obviously hold that grudge against that particular someone. However, regardless of what it is, you know, that, you know, oh, they hurt me in a way that's going to affect my present to the future. Even though, yes, I know that I'm still working on some parts here. As I'm saying as in my last video, I'm not perfect. But it doesn't mean for people to come up to me and pick out my flaws or my mistakes, however. I know I'm not perfect and it doesn't mean that when I'm in that circle particularly also that when it comes down to basically also if I feel something's wrong in them that they should actually accept that too and actually you know work it out on the own or kindly ask for help because I sense that many people out there are too afraid of change or too afraid to ask for help and maybe too afraid that maybe someone might judge them or hurt them or criticise them like they did the opposite effect onto me however. Who knows? We were born to be great and not perfect, however. Yet we were created by the image of God. That we all have a purpose and a calling in life. With all these people hating on us, we're just one step closer to God's calling in our lives, however. As we all have a reason and a purpose in life, yet it's up to us if we choose to listen to God's voice when he calls on us. This is based on... If you guys want to follow me, Matthew 22 verse 16. As many of us are called, few are chosen to do God's work from or for him. Some individuals, as I said, are quick to pass judgment as they think that they're smarter, brighter and live 
in the iron world of perfection, when in reality, they're not. These are the people that think they know you and have a lot to say about you, however, when in reality you know more about yourself than they do about you. You know that you're not perfect and have these flaws and imperfections, yet they don't accept themselves about you. As it's easier to criticise about your journey and walk, yet it's, yet it's easier to knock you down or over on your path and walking in your own shoes to see what you see, to feel what you feel and more. As everyone's journey is different and we should learn to understand and appreciate each other and celebrate the joys, triumphs and successes along the way when they have come to a point in their journey that needs to be, you know, recognised. <coughs> It's, it's easier to judge someone else but not ourselves. It's, this is easy for them to quit, however, just so that they can give their unwanted and unwelcome opinion on us and try to give us a solution to suit them and make themselves important and higher above everyone else. They are strong enough to pick us up, yet weak to put up or pull us down. Yet they are strong enough to be there for us after giving us that grief or putting it up putting us through this grief and misery, however, in the first place when we were walking on our journey. These people that judge you, judge you are insecure compensators as they're the ones sitting on the sidelines while we're out there doing our own thing, giving our all and everything. We should be doing. However, yet, also the, what they're sowing in their lives will reap later in what comes to pass. That memory verses from Galatians 6 verse 7 to 9. They do nothing in their lives yet. They think that they know about you and what, what you do every day that you don't as they are the ones wasting their lives on you and what they think or say about you isn't our business anyway as we should keep moving forward and not to look back regardless that I'm trying to learn that myself here. The reason why we're talking about they're talking about you, hating on you, etc. is that you've got the courage to do what you want to do and obviously they don't want to do it obviously to wait and let them see if you're going to fall or you know pass or fail on that given type of you know destiny of your journey of what you were called and destined to do as I said before we all have a purpose and a calling in our lives the reason why they're talking about you I've already said that. The way they're highlighting your flaws and imperfections on you is showing their own insecurities and their own lives of what they're seeing in you that's reflecting on us to them. When they're judging you, however, that's not defining you, but they're defining themselves. That's how I put it. The most insecure people who come in our lives are the ones that has the most to say about us, as I said before, and also shows us about who and what they really are as a person. But however, when it comes down to it, we shouldn't basically just be hard on them and actually just try and, you know, give them help or show them a way. You know, some people may want compassion, some people may just want someone to talk to who whatever the reason may be when they do this. However, bear, bear in mind, don't leave this into cure people win by placing their doubts and insecurities about you or make you yourself out about you. Think positive so you're smarter and wiser than these people, however. Never let somebody come into your life and tell you what's wrong with your life and they have nothing right or going right on their own lives, however. Ne in other words, again, I say discern with your spiritual eyes. Um, never let the haters hate on you. Bless them and not curse them. Be the light on their path and show them the love, peace, hope, etc. The reason the haters hate you, you haven't they haven't learnt to love themselves and being at peace in themselves. Well, that's all for the first part of my judgment series, basically. So, be you, be true, love yourself, and I'll see you guys soon.